Okay, so is Twitter killing the comics community? Personally, I kind of think it is at the moment, um, but I'd love to know what you think with regards to the situation. You know, so let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. But there are some really important lessons we can learn from this, especially if you're a new creator just starting out on your comic making journey. Now, over the last you know 10, 15 years, Twitter has been amazing to help build people's you know careers with regards to you know networking, you know meeting editors, meeting other creators, you know they want to make comics with, and basically just finding paid work, whether that be commissions or you know sequential work, that kind of thing. But the problem is because all these creators are being, you know, driven away in droves, you know, the editors and, you know, people that they potentially want to work with, it's going to start leaving holes in people's financial status, you know, and it's something that, you know, they need to cover. Um, and the problem with this is I think a lot of people, and I include myself in this, is we've kind of relied on that one platform for a number of years to build our communities and build our network, which is not, not a bad thing because you know, you're putting all your heart, soul, and energy into, into one thing. But I think this has kind of showed us that that's probably not the way to go. And what we need to do, if we can, is try and build our communities on various platforms. So I'm talking, you know, Reddit, LinkedIn, Instagram, Blue Sky, Threads, if you really want to go down that route, you know, but these are things that we need to do. And I know this is going to be hard, but you need to start thinking of content that you could potentially create on one of those platforms that you can just duplicate and repost on others. And the reason for this is, is because at any time, someone can turn the switch off any of those platforms and then suddenly you go from income to no income. So if you'll think about it, you know, all of these platforms are, you know, pillars of your career. If you're doing them all at the same time and one's, you know, gets chopped away by being, being switched off, yes, that is going to make your wobble and it's going to affect your income a little bit, but it's not going to be the same as starting from scratch, which I know a lot of people are starting to do, and that's going to affect you know the money that they're making and their career. So if you can take one lesson from this video, is you need to be looking at multiple different platforms, and it's pretty much the same reason why you know um, I use Instagram, I use LinkedIn, I'm on Blue Sky now, you know, and it's even why you know I started a YouTube channel the other the other year. It's purely because. I'm trying to build communities on every platform that I can. So, you know, hopefully this has helped. Hopefully this has given you a bit of insight of, you know, if you're starting out in your comics career, what you should be doing. Um, if it has helped you, give us a like, share, and a subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.